Okay, so let's build a correlation matrix with these correlations. And if we go to add-ons, Excel minus uh, analysis tool pack and start, that will open up the tool pack. We click on correlation. Um, this could just do two columns, by the way, if we want to do a correlation between two columns. But here we want to do everything. So we select, doesn't matter how we select it as long as we get that entire block selected. Click in there. Uh, labels are in the first row and we want to do that to make it readable. And then output range, um, maybe we'll just put it right here and I think it'll create the columns for us if we press OK. Um, no, it didn't. So what I'm going to do is a control Z. Oops. Control Z. I'm going to put those columns there first. I'm going to insert 11 columns to the right. And now I'm going to do the same thing again. But this time it'll have plenty of room to put those in. Um, and we can expand this if we want to be able to see those. And then the coloring happens by selecting all the numbers, going to format, conditional formatting, color scale. I'm going to have my minimum be red, and I'm going to have my maximum be green. Uh, notice that the every variable is always perfectly correlated with itself. Those are those ones. If those are too bright green that they're drowning everything out, sometimes I'll go through and delete those. And once you delete the last one, it'll update the colors so that your highest positive correlation is now the bright green. It's a little easier to see. Uh, those are really big numbers, a little hard to read. So I might select these numbers um, go to format, number, um, maybe we'll just give it like two decimal points, uh, might be a lot easier. We can't convert them to percent. Correlation uh, coefficient cannot be converted to percent like an R squared can. Uh, if I wanted to bring this together a little more there, I could do that. And then this right here could be put into a PowerPoint by uh, holding down the Windows button and pressing S. And that will bring up a search that I'm typing SNP into. Um, you couldn't see it, unfortunately, because I had two screens here. But if I do new, I can grab this entire correlation matrix. And I could save that as an image, or I could just open up a PowerPoint and uh, do a control V or a paste and, and that would get the, the correlations matrix into my slide or if I was making a test I could put it in there.